Hey guys, hope you're doing amazing today. It's been a little crazy here and things are like all over the place. So don't mind the mess at all. It's, it's a disaster. We've got like seating area going on on the kitchen table. We had some baking, we've got some eggs, doing our sourdough. I didn't do the dishes last night. Bridget got a new toy, this Cricut cutter. So she's gonna be making some new stuff as well as her weaving. The dogs are shedding. It's just, it's just a mess. And I'm filming from inside, so what's gonna happen too is I'm gonna try and show you some of the seeds and stuff that's growing, but because the sun's coming in the windows, it's gonna get all black and yucky and video quality is gonna be. So I'm gonna try and make the video the best I can with the sun coming in the windows and kind of screwing up the picture. But a few weeks ago, I think it was, or maybe a month ago, we made a video, it'll be up here or here, the link, about setting up our new seed starting station. And I'm gonna walk you through kind of what's happening here. So we bought two shelving units from Amazon. They're about, I think they're like two feet by three feet. And then we bought some grow lights that are three feet as well. So we're able to put a grow light on each shelf, which is just perfect. And then we took the regular bulb out of our light and fan unit and put a grow light there. So anything on the top has a grow light as well. So up on the top here, we have some stuff that's already pretty established. We've got two lemon trees that I started from the seeds from lemons that we bought from the store. We had four or five I think that started and grew and then we gave some away and we sold a couple and then we've got a parsley going as well. So on the second shelf what we have is some more plants uh, as well as the other shelves of course but Bridget also started a ton of flowers some annuals as well as uh, perennial flowers as well I started some herbs and veggies and that kind of thing. The one thing we wanted to get a head start on was onions and peppers, as well as lots of herbs. So over in the corner here, we've got some flowers that are called silver dust. I don't know the technical term, but they're silver dust. In here, we've got something called fireworks, two different types of fireworks, as well as some of the pea pellets that didn't already grow. So we have peppers over on the other side that grew. These ones were peppers that haven't started yet. And on the other side are herbs that haven't started yet. This one's another herb one that really hasn't done much. We've got some petunias here, bunny tails. We got more petunias. We got a whole bunch of stuff in this one here. Got some foxglove, uh, fireweed, some fireweed, some hollyhock, some mystery stuff. I think it's like some of the wildflower seeds that we collected last year out in our garden. Now, if we go down to the next shelf, we've got a little tray here that we started with some uh, parsley and basil that got going. Uh, down here we have uh, a bunch of marigold that's popping up. And at the end we have some St. John's wort and nice high sop and valerian, but it hasn't come up yet because we just planted that. And here we've got more of this silver dust and one dill plant right here. And we've got some petunias, uh, alyssum. Down here we got some other stuff going. Uh, pink hostas. Um, and some other stuff in French, I don't know but it's growing anyway. And then if we move down to the bottom shelf, we got some more stuff coming along. Lemon balm, cilantro, parsley. Bridget even started some sweet peas. And then if we move along, we've got more petunias, some calendula, some other items some more sweet peas. In here we have Delila or Dahlia. We've got raspberries coming, sorry, strawberries. We've got strawberries coming. Another sweet pea. And we're running out of room on those shelves. 
So we had to put another one here. So we've got some salad coming, some basil, some more dill, uh, some bell peppers, some parsley, basil. I think I said basil. Down here we got some chives, bit of thyme, some onions that aren't looking really good, and some cayenne peppers as well that have popped up. I'm looking forward to that. One little lonely little thyme right there. Always need more time. And we still needed more room. So we put this table right here over our stairs with this piece of plywood holding it. And we've got this regular house plant here. But up top we've got some tomatoes, some a pepper that came back from last year, our ginger that ginger? I think it yeah, ginger. It's ginger that's growing there and some more raspberries growing here as well. And because we still didn't have enough room, we started this section down here, which is a lot more of our tomatoes as well as some of the sweet peas that are growing up as well now. And I thought there were some strawberries here, but it's just tomatoes and the sweet peas and a little olive oil. And it's right beside our chickens that are coming soon too. Now, maybe it's just me, but I have one heck of a time trying to get rosemary growing. I started some in this pot and I started some in this pot right here. Nothing yet. And then this whole tray is supposed to be sage, rosemary and thyme. And all I got is these two little thyme right here. So if you guys could help me try and figure out how to have more time. <laughs> no, seriously. If you have any suggestions for me on how to grow thyme and rosemary, I would so appreciate it. Put it down there in the comment because I love rosemary and I have such a hard time growing it. So guys, if you like this video, check out this one right here, which is how we did this setup right here.